What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 2 of my 515 Road to France, a brand new series on my channel. If you missed episode 1, be sure to go and check that out on my channel just to get an understanding of this series. But what it is all about is a road to gold with my own slight twist. We'll start off with a base standard silver non-rare squad, go and check out episode 1 for that squad. And then depending on the results of the games we play, will depend on whether we can upgrade a card or we have to downgrade. Last episode we got three wins, that means we've got three upgrades there. As you can see on the screen, we've got three silver rare players and um, at the moment I can't really downgrade. I can't downgrade any further than a silver non-rare card just because it gets too hard to come against some of the gold teams in seasons and stuff like that. Um, but uh, when we go into some of the gold cards, it gets a bit more interesting and stuff like that. But as you can see, we're going to go for this play here, Guilla Vorglu, um, a CDM, plays for Wolfsburg and looks like a very, very good um, player to swap out for Vanquir, a fantastic player. And uh, last episode, we scored some absolute screamers, so go and check that out as well. And when I mean screamers, I mean long shots for days. Um, we beat Team 7-2, 5-1, and stuff like that, with some very, very nice goals indeed from the likes of Bayerbeck, uh, Riviera up top. Both of those strikers are fantastic. Uh, but we come against this squad, another start squad, um, randomly a jum jumbled together and stuff like that. Um, a rainy day, but uh, that's going to stop us from scoring here. And here's Rick the Cam we recently picked up in episode one, steaming on through, and he's going to smash that past the keeper in the 30th minute there, I believe, to go and make that 1-0 there. And we then pick up the ball in the CDM there, um, and um, a nice over-the-top ball into the path of Bayerbeck, the PSG youngster, and he's going to smash that home to go and make that 2-0 there. A fairly straightforward victory, as you can see, a lot more possession than him, as well as shots, and probably deserved that 2-0 victory. Wasn't the strongest of opponents. Um, he did have a very, very pacey striker, and that is his only threat, really, up top. Uh, but that means we can go and upgrade to another player and um, as you can see we're going to swap out the CDM of Vanquir being a very very good player indeed and um, there may be a way of getting him back sometime soon uh, but we have to wait for that one but so we're going to put the new player in and we're actually going to go for a new player called Balthiak out on the left mid to go and swap out a player called Contort um, 69 rate player there and we also got an injury on pair which I need to go and sort out uh, before we get in but as you can see I've sorted out the injury and let's get straight into the game here second game of this episode. Hopefully we can go and make another win. Hopefully we get another unbeaten episode so far. Um, episode 1, very, very strong episode. All three wins, all three cards. Hopefully we can make the same thing happen in this episode. Uh, but we eventually get into the game after different kit swaps and all that lot. Uh, but um, come against another starter squad and a um, lone Sterling, which um, sometimes you do find a come against. But uh, I believe once we get out of these two, like the low divisions, it will start getting a bit more interesting as our team gets a bit stronger. Higher card ratings and we'll come up against some more stronger opponents. So it won't be like these teams forever, guys. Um, it will get a bit harder. But this team seems to be performing fantastically well so far and um, we just find some space here lovely ball into buyback and look at that for a near post finish a pass the keeper to go and make that 1-0 buyback being a fantastic keeper we then get brought down in the penalty area there and um, Matthew Bates brings me down Mr. Master Bates um, and um, he brings me down there and we're going to go and put our player onto it hopefully we can just go and put this in the back and that giving us that 2-0 we um I don't know, Ezerik was just staring the player down there, the goalkeeper, uh, but eventually comes to take it and puts it into the corner there to go and make that 2 -0. Not the best of penalties, but still did the job there. Bybeck again doing some fantastic work, weaving on through with another fantastic finish at the end of it to go and make that 3-0 there. And this guy had enough, 3-0 down before the first half, um, and... Um, See you later, Mike. There you go. So we're going to pick him up and disconnect. I believe that's the first disconnect of this series, um, which is just annoying in the sense you don't get the full amount of coins. But as you can see, he didn't have a single shot on goal uh, for a full half nearly. So um, it wasn't going well for him, at, should I say the least. Um, I was pretty much dominating him. And I was waiting for some long shots to go into the back of the net. Uh, but so that means we can go and swap up our left mid, who um, conveniently timed. He has run out of contract. Um, so um, we also need to put a contract onto Leonel Zuma. That is not actually Kurt Zuma. That is his brother. Brother and is a very, very good card as well. Um, Kurt Zuma, though, is going for quite a bit just because he is in, obviously in the BPL and um, he's got a very, very good solid card. And um, Leonard Zuma, yeah, very, very pacey player and does the job in the centre back position. So I would recommend him if you're looking for an alternative. Uh, but um, we're actually going to go for another centre back and it's going to be this player here, Dia Kite. Um, it used to be a gold, I believe. He used to play for Sunderland and used to be in the Sele A, I believe, in the previous FIFAs and was a very, very good player. Pacey, strong centre-back who did the job. So hopefully we're going to swap it out. And it may actually lead to one... 
slight alteration, shall I say, with the squad. But uh, we have to see what happens in this game. So we're going to go straight into the game. Hopefully we can go and make it three out of three here. And uh, that'll be a fantastic couple of episodes for this series. Uh, but uh, we eventually get into the game, playing against this kid. I'm, I'm not sure why he didn't ready up long enough. Uh, but um, like I said last episode, I am really enjoying the fact you can now get international badges and kits. It just makes everything look a lot, lot fresher, which I think would have been a big help in my road, I'm um, sorry, my World Cup squad builders. I think that would have been really, really good. But um, this is squad here. Another starter squad with some gold players as well as a loaned Neymar up top, which um, can always be quite threatening with his pace and stuff like that. But um, this ball, uh, this guy really should have cleared that one in the first one. We eventually falls to... Um, Guilla Vorglu, the CDM we recently picked up, and he's going to put that into the back from there. This game was been a bit of a lag fest, uh, but the over-the-top ball there into Rivier, he's going to put that past the keeper to go and make that 2-0 there um, in 20 minutes. And then uh, this guy, very, very similar story to the previous game, was getting absolutely dominated and must have had enough there. As you can see, I think he went for the Xbox turning off approach instead of the actual forfeit in the game because it took long enough for it to come through, but eventually did come through, and obviously the coin total's not there, but still, that's the three points, we are slowly moving on with the division in terms of, um, because of this is a fresh account, I basically have zero coins, and there's no way of transferring coins, um, unless I get like, you know, do the coin thing where you put the player up really expensive and stuff like that, but I don't really want to do that, because obviously EA takes a bit from tax, um, so I'm basically trying to play as many games as I can, hopefully get a decent amount before I get onto some of the expensive gold players and stuff like that. So far, I seem to be doing quite well, um, but it may get interesting when we get onto some of the really, really expensive gold ones, but hopefully by that time, prices have slowly dropped down and stabled. But as you can see there, we actually have swapped out Paye, the right back for the AKT, and have swapped the formation to the 3-5-2. Um, the reason is because the 3-5-2 is going to be the formation I'm going to have for the whole of the Silver Rare squad. So once we put all the Silver Rare players in, we can then move on to the gold. And that also led us to swapping out the left back and, um, and Sakala. Fantastic player, guys. And I think I picked him up for a bit of a bargain, but still a very, very good choice to have in that left back spot. But um, like I said, we can then go and swap the CDM back in. I am going to have to go and play a game in terms of updating, upgrading that CDM. Because obviously he's now in a, like, hasn't got the upgrade. Uh, but uh, that's the coming in the future, guys. So, guys, that is the end of the episode. If you like to remember that like button, also meant to subscribe, stay tuned to the series. And any feedback in the comments, would really much appreciate, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.